Hello and welcome back to Project Zomboid Season 3, Episode 30. Don't really need to have my inventory open, but I'm going to for a bit. You could just see this massive trail of undead. I'm going to be a little bit careful. No, I don't feel like dealing with you. And I should just be able to go down here. If I remember correctly, there should be an open path a little bit further down that's a little bit more suited for my escape. There we go. Thunk. Oh, I missed. Oh. oh, this vehicle is taking a beating already. Huh. I wonder why it's so like, low. Yeah. Oh, that's a full tank. That's a... That's something I need to uh, come back to at one point. Ouch. I actually didn't mean to hit him. That one I did mean to, because I had to get down here. Uh, let's see. That's another tank. These are pretty rare. Yeah. Oh, go down. Yeah, my guy's pretty panicked, I, I would expect. And I have a long drive ahead of me. We won't have to do too much around here, so... Let's go up through here. Might be a little bit easier. Because these poles, I know I cannot... Oh. Ah, I gotta go through them. Too many. I could take the upper road, but... Yeah, they seem to be really focused that way, so... I'll use that to my advantage to get out of town. Yeah. Doesn't matter if they try to follow me, it's gonna take them too long to actually reach where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I don't want no solicitors, no hitchhikers, all that stuff. I think that's the school. And we should have plenty of gas. We're at pretty much the halfway mark now. Or, I don't know if that's the halfway mark, that sign. I just, I'm trying to remember this area. I got the map pulled up somewhere else. And with all this rain, it's really dropping my frames pretty badly. And it's probably also just about everything else. I have all these things running in the background as well, so... Probably I wasn't helping it too much. And we're just trying to zoom past here. I think also the, the really fast movement is making it try to render too much. This area just seems like a ghost town. I mean, you see some of these, but... Trying to avoid undead. Let's go down here fast. And I'm trying to avoid them, but they're not really giving me a choice here. Let's drive down this way then. At least for a bit. Uh... Oh, we should actually be getting close to the edge of town, I think. Uh, in fact, I think... Yeah, I think we just left town. Now, granted, it's going to be a little bit longer before we're technically out of town. But you'll notice a very sudden transition to 
the outer town. Now, from what I understand, no zombies spawn past this point. So we should actually be pretty safe overall. And as you see, there's plenty of vehicles to leech off of. And yes, I know I don't have much food, but there's also going to be food around here. So... But we're not going to stop here. No, this is too close to the town. And there's a nice place just right here. But this isn't where I'm going to end up eventually. This is just a kind of midway point for me to start setting up. And what I like to do is I like to go down to the furthest reaches, which is right about here. And this is where I'll make my little camp. And there we go. Now, if I remember correctly, we can run as much as we want here. <laughs> that's, not, that's not an issue. Uh, this stuff should continue having items until we still uh, we get even further out of the town. This is kind of one of the transit areas where it starts losing its objects and I have confirmed that once you reach a certain range out of town there is no more uh, loot in any of the vehicles and where we're going to end up it's going to have no loot in the area so let's start dropping off our our goodies our supplies and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the vehicle key inside here no point in keeping it on hand if I'm just going to have to keep carrying it around and yeah that rain's just going to be a problem at least for a bit it's not going to be a permanent issue though, at least. I got quite a bit of empty gas cans. And can we carry these? Not sure how much of this, how many of these I can carry. Huh. Looks like I can carry them all. Okay. Let's start by dropping these off first. Then. I gotta stop doing that. I'm trying to use the driving keys, which is not helping. And I'm doing it again. Uh, we are gonna need this. Probably gonna want to drop off our empty gas cans. This vehicle is probably only going to be used uh, one or two more times because it's so damaged at this point. Uh, Let's place down our quote unquote campsite. <laughs> Though I think. Oh, we should have. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can find a tarp somewhere. Tarp. Rope. Wood. Hooray. Luckily, we should have our saws in here and everything. Our main tools. Grab one. I also need a hammer. No, I don't think I need a hammer. But I should be able to saw the planks. And I think I need to saw up I think it might be two. Let's just make them all, because it doesn't really matter if I have multiples. Actually, I definitely didn't need that. Nope. I need the tent pegs, which I think are in here. Nope. They're in one of these. I think it's this one. Yep. And yes, while well, we're drenched, not much I can do about that. At least not yet. 
Uh, don't need that. We actually just need to go to the Sturdy Sticks, make a tent kit, and we should just be able to put our tent down right here. And you'll notice blood and stuff like that over here. Uh, from what I understand, there's no, like, undead here, but, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed that the drenched status and all that doesn't go away after you, like, get into a vehicle, uh, vehicle or anything. It kind of annoys me, but not much I can do about it, and I'm not going to be too worked up about it. I'm just going to try to toss as much as of this stuff. Other than the food. In here. Primarily the charcoal and stuff like that. We're going to basically make this our main campsite. Hmm. This rain. And that thing should be plenty of space to store the rest of this stuff. Saws. Honestly, we don't need a lot of charcoal. Oh, we're going to, just not at this time. Eat all of this. Uh, this stuff's starting to go bad. Eat all of that. And let's try to, you know, tired enough to sleep. And hiding car one, just to see if I can do anything about that. I'm pretty sure I can't, but let's see if it helps. There's not much I can do here. I actually can go into the woods for a bit. And this will remove some of that uh, rain from me. I wish I had a bath towel or something. really weighed down. What am I carrying? Or like, really, what am I carrying? Oh, I know what I'm carrying. Just a bunch of junk that doesn't need to be on me right now. And I probably have a bunch of stuff in here, too, that I don't need. Uh, well, yeah, we're pretty much safe out here. My little campsite. It finally stopped raining. So that's good. Of course, I didn't carry any good equipment on me. Okay. And these are pretty heavy, but luckily they'll, they'll last a while. And now that we've removed the rain mod, or the fear of the rain mod, it'll actually rain a lot less, which is so wonderful. Now that I'm not going to be constantly bogged down with rain constantly. Uh, let's see. We do have our cardboard boxes of seeds and stuff. Yeah, that's one of the containers of water. We should have a lot of these buckets of water. 
So we should ha uh, we shouldn't have to worry about too much. Uh, we shouldn't ha have to worry about the water too much, and I think I actually have some of the letter. Uh, yeah, I have very few bad perks, so that's actually going to be pretty beneficial. First. Not much I can actually fill up in there, so I'm just going to toss these over here. This is going to be a really a jumble of stuff until we're actually able to settle down. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I have a normal hiking bag. That is what I'm carrying. That it's weighing me down so much. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, the ruinous spike basal bat of never breaking. Oh, we actually did grab the shovel. That's good. I was actually kind of afraid that I may have forgotten that. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I should have filled up a lot of water, but unfortunately I don't really have the time to be worrying about that. Let's start removing tools from these. What I'm going to do eventually is going to have a one of these vans and turn it into kind of a mobile workshop. Baseball bats, again, they're not a really necessary thing, but they're useful to have on hand. Because they make decent weapons. Yes, I know it doesn't all fit. Just put as many of them in the air as possible. Uh, can't put anything in there. No, right there. <laughs> well, pile of tools. I guess that works. Empty gas cans. We're probably going to keep those there for now. Let's just start emptying out the tools. Luckily, we got uh, we grabbed this fishing tackle box, so it's going to be a little bit easier to find food. Well, actually, it won't be useful till later, but for now, it's still decent enough. We have a lot of rope too, and oh, did I toss the saw out of my inventory? I think I did. Yeah, I did. We never did find a medical kit, did we? Hmm. Oh well. Oh, that's handy. That'll be a, a bag of ropes. And for now, just anything that's junk I can put in here. Actually, why am I even bothering to, uh, doing that? Plus, I can run a lot more now. Thanks to not having to worry about that. Yeah, I'm going to unpack one of these. Yes, unpack it. Just so we can have one of these little sets here. Just a lot of stuff that can be used that in here. Okay. Might be a little too much. Put them all in. Hmm, yeah, that's problematic. Uh, what I'm going to do is... That and... No. That and put those in here. Oh, well, it weighs a little... Uh, it weighs a little bit. That's nothing to be complaining about. And now I can actually access this. Dump anything off. In fact, what's funny is I have uh, probably around six of these just junk boxes in my test world. And I actually want to put this on the ground here. Crowbars can go in here. 
Eh, overall, there's not much that's going to be put in there. More charcoal. Oh, I probably should start dumping stuff off from that. Toss these in here. I actually took the... Oh, wait. I'm leaving the vehicle key in there. Screwdrivers. Sledgehammer. I apparently cannot work. Eh. Carry that. Oh, well. Toss that in there. Toss all these water balls in here. Or at least as many as I can fit. Welding torch. And plenty of wood glue. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of seeds to work with. So we can actually start farming out here again. This time with a little... With quite a few less interruptions. Hopefully. I'm two or three weeks in, and I've been sleeping outside in my test world, and I haven't run into a single zombie out here, so it bodes well. Monster screwdriver of damage with 100% condition, or near 100. I think it's got... Yeah, some slight damage. I'll grab one. Let's see. Oh, I put it in here, didn't I? Place this down. And let's fill this one up. Any spare tools we have. And junk we just don't need. This is probably going to be mostly an off-camera uh, thing, but I'm just showing the basic setup of how I'm doing this. It's going to be a long, long, long planning session here, but we should have plenty of stuff here now. And we're going to need to do a few runs, but over the, overall we should be... We should be done moving. Apparently I'm carrying too much. What am I... Oh. I never dropped this stuff off, did I? Packs of lumber. Yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. If you enjoyed watching, like, subscribe for more. Have a nice day. See you in the next episode. I'm probably going to, next episode, have basically this vehicle unloaded. I'm going to have some stuff sorted out. And we can uh, begin from there. And... Maybe we start doing some runs back and forth, or I'll pr I might go by foot, and by by uh, and by by foot, I mean I'll be taking a vehicle to the entrance of the town. So see ya. Thank you for watching. For more content, check out my channel. If you wish to support my channel, check out my Patreon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates.